Hey everyone, AppChasers.com here. Today we're taking a look at another remote desktop app for the iPhone and iPad. This again is a universal app, so it works on both with one purchase, and that's iTeleport. You can see here we've got our iPad uh, open here, and we've got uh, our Mac running in the background, although this does work with PCs as well. It actually uses Gmail to connect to your computer remotely. So we're going to go ahead here and open up I teleport, and there you see we've got uh, our desktop showing right here on the iPad. So there's a number of different things that we can do. Uh, if right now we're in full screen mode. Quick uh, full uh, three finger swipe down will bring up some commands. You you can see here along the top, of course our keyboard. We've got that. Uh, so you can go ahead and type. And while you've got the keyboard open, you still have control of the screen. Uh, let's get rid of that keyboard for a minute. I'll show you some uh, special uh, keys here like for example your uh, F1 through F12 keys are showing. We've got F12 and F11 set up to switch spaces so we can do that. You can see right there we've got our iTunes uh, right here on the iPad. So let's take a look at that. Go ahead and scroll through some of our playlists here. We've got our playlist showing up. We can do a scroll right here with a couple fingers. Click on one of these songs. Then I'll activate that window and we can scroll. So a real nice touch interface with iTeleport. Let's go back. Go back to our home screen. Quick F11 will bring us back there. Get rid of the keyboard. Now we're right here back. You can see we can zoom by pinching. We can also do a quick zoom with a three finger touch. Uh, dragging around the desktop, just a one finger movement works real nice. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, well, let's go into maybe Hulu and see how we can do that. So we'll clear out that search there. Go ahead and type in Hulu.com. We'll just type in Hulu there. Open up Hulu right here. Click right on the links. Very uh, user friendly and interactive. Get rid of our uh, menu bar there. You can see there is a little bit of lag. Now right now we are on uh, Wi-Fi um, and we are on the same network. There's a, going to be a little bit more of a, a delay uh, if you're not on the same network, but not too much. 3G does uh, show a bit more a bit more lag so you might want to use that sparingly but wait until you're on Wi-Fi but you can connect from away from home so here we go we've got this video here we'll click on that we'll show you how the uh, flash looks here oh. looks like they're not gonna cooperate with us right now we'll go to YouTube here Bring up our keyboard again. Go to YouTube. We are ready to go there. Close that back up. Go to full screen here. And you'll see the lag here. So it might not be best for watching video, but uh, overall, not a bad experience, especially if you're looking to uh, grab some of your files. Let's see if our escape cure here works. Alright, we're back out of here. Now, the sound that you hear right now is coming from the computer. It's not coming from iTeleport. Unfortunately, you can't... Um, listen to your music or listen to any audio from your computer remotely um, using iTeleport. So that's something that we hopefully look to see uh, added in the future. Um, one more thing that we're going to show you now is going on to the iPhone 4S with Siri. iTeleport has recently been updated so now it can receive Siri commands for opening applications and we'll show you that right now. 
Okay, so we've got iTeleport up here on the uh, iPhone 4S, as you can see here, the Mac in the background, and uh, iTeleport here in the foreground. We're going to show some of the dictation features. So we'll go ahead and open Microsoft Word. You can see here that opened up for us on our Mac. You can see it in the background there. It's open. And we're going to use uh, iTeleport to dictate for us using Siri. So let's uh, we'll zoom in here and uh, let me get our font up a little bit. There we go. Okay, and we'll open up our uh, keyboard. We'll go into the dictate. This is a test using uh, a remote client to dictate to the Mac using Siri, period. How does it work? Period. I guess we'll find out, period. Okay, now in the background you can see that it typed it out there. We'll go ahead and uh, use iTeleport. This is a test using remote client to dictate to the Mac using Siri. How does it work? Oh, well, that's a little typo there. I guess we'll find out. So you can see here, um, iTeleport's dictation feature is working real well using the iPhone 4S. And uh, it makes it a lot easier than typing uh, to control your Mac or your PC. Um, now we're going to go into and take a look at how it does launching apps. Launch Safari. Launch Picasa. Launch Picasa. Launch iTunes. Launch settings. So you can see that iTeleport does a nice job uh, launching uh, some apps like Safari and iTunes. Uh, but other third-party apps on the Mac it seemed to have a little bit more trouble. It also had trouble when uh, we were in one of the dialog or text input boxes on the Mac and uh, saying launch uh, one of the apps, it would just uh, type that out. So it does a little bit better job at dictation uh, than it does at launching apps right now using Siri. But uh, overall, a nice product and a great uh, remote access client for your Mac. iTeleport receives our AppChasers 4-star rating.